Prepare to transform. Whatever life you choose, prepare to be moved in the Nissan Qashqai. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Henry Post Jewelers, your local jewellery store, supporting and serving the community for over 60 years. SAFM News Briefing. Hey, I'm Tessa Randello. Huge blasts are being reported in Beirut by official Lebanese media. Israeli military said earlier on Saturday local time that it will retaliate against Iran for missile attacks. Meantime, two flights to get Australians and their families out of Lebanon have landed in Cyprus with 400 passengers on board. While back home, an increase in police presence is planned for pro-Palestine protests in Sydney and Melbourne today. The New South Wales Police Commissioner Karen Webb just said that authorities will be making sure people are following the rules. You know, a vigil is a vigil, but if it becomes something else, else we'll respond accordingly. It comes ahead of vigils across the country for tomorrow, marking one year since the October 7 attacks which sparked the war in Gaza. A former South Australian opposition leader is quitting politics in the wake of drug charges. It comes after a video emerged allegedly showing David Spears with a white powder. He maintains his innocence. Spears has been charged with two counts of supplying a controlled substance. Briefly in the US, and Elon Musk is set to join Donald Trump at a rally in Pennsylvania today. And the countdown is on until kickoff for the NRL and NRLW Grand Final tonight. Panthers fan Daniel says he's got faith the boys can get four in a row against the Storm. Oh, you, you want it to be, it's a history-making one, this one, so there's nerves there for that, but I'm pretty confident, yeah. First up this afternoon, though, it'll be the Roosters and Sharks who clash in the women's grand final. Two teams that could not have been predicted. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Sam Mitchell has been rewarded for taking the Hawks to the semi finals. He secured a two year contract extension. Speaking at the club's best and fairest, Mitchell has declared an even bigger 2025. It was a really good year, an enjoyable year. I think most of us had fun for most of it, but we're just getting started. Six wins on the drop for the Brisbane Lions in the AFLW, smashing Carlton by 55 points. And Australia is off to a winning start at the Women's T20 World Cup, beating Sri Lanka by six wickets. Alora Conveyancing, simplifying property transfers with local expertise. This is SAFM Weather. Today on the Limestone Coast, mostly cloudy with a top of 18. Tonight, down to 11. And tomorrow, heavy showers with a high of 15. And escape the day and unwind with Listener. Download the app now and search Escape. The 